Anyway, that, that, that's enough about my sorrow, bro. Alright. Okay. Mm. So, some topics did came, come up that we could talk about. Yeah. What topics? I don't know. Oh, didn't you say that we're going to talk about normal stuff this week? We can. I mean, like, it, if we can have the yeah, normal okay. side of any, 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 anything we're talking about, we can have the normal side of it as well. Everything what is the mean? normal side. No, I mean, like, normal things, like, no metaphysics, no philosophy, just, you know, everyday stuff. So, I don't know. Yeah, boring stuff. You ain't gonna like this, but I ain't got no, everyday stuff. Out. You know, like for me, philosophy is everyday stuff. If I would tell you, you know, what I was doing this week, uh, I could tell you my experiences. But what what connects them? This week, I was learning about forgiveness, and we are right back at philosophy. Or what, uh, what the, you can talk about the practical part of it. Uh, all right. Like, like, like that's that's uh, what I really hate about this uh, self, like the self help books, these mastery books. Like, like I started to read. Like, it's a guy telling you about about this and this. And it's like, yeah, like you know, like it's like empty jack shit. Like, people don't believe these things without action. It's not just okay, for example, but you know, you. What's going on there? I don't know, it feels like feeding people something um, not easy to believe. That's why you need a practical part, and then you go like, uh-huh, that's what you mean, uh-huh. Uh, there's right, some, there's, there's some that were, like, in the Becoming Supernatural, uh, Joe Dispenza's book, practical about, uh, uh, you know, talks about the practicality, practicality of everything, so... That, that might would interest you. I, I'm sure I sent it to you already. No, really. Becoming supernatural would not interest me. I can guarantee you that. I know. <coughs> Most self, I mean, I mean, the, the point of self mastery books. They want to build an understanding in you. And yeah, they are idiots who <coughs> apply stuff and they they write about what sounds ridiculous. But self mastery is. Uh, about building an understanding about the whole topic, about how things are, who we are, and all these things. About the you master yourself. So even if it's really about stupid how we series, are, how that but, person thinks we are. No, no, no. But okay. But still, it just uh, shows you things, and through that you can build an understanding. And with that, you can uh, uh, develop Maybe things. You, that we, you can say you understand we, Yeah. So with that, you can uh, create things in your life. So you can apply to your life what they are kind of talking about. But, but the main point is Same you have to... Tell. Uh, okay. They tell you things that oh, you can apply on your life. No, but they don't necessarily have to tell you how to apply to your life because what they are doing it help you to build an understanding how things are how you are how, how you are what you are and all that stuff how the, what the self is that's a self mastery a school yeah. of yourself well, i imagine it's more like they figure they figure the way how they understand life and they tell you so they can understand the life the way they do. Okay. How that sounds more like it. Uh, how are we saying? Because these people write about the wisdom that they concluded by their experiences or ideas or whatever, and they came to those conclusions. So they have the wisdom and they wrote a book about it, how they understand life. So it, it doesn't make you understand life. They they make you understand the li life the way they see it. Next, as I said, they make you, help you understand yourself, the school on yourself. Yeah, you keep saying that, but you read how they, they understand life. So but you're going to understand life. the life. Not life. Whatever, whatever. Self. You yourself. understand yourself the same way as they do. 
like that way. Mm. I mean, there you must uh, as well, so. Yesterday I read a part from this book. I'm not reading this book. I'm not reading it. I'm ridiculing the book. I'm ridiculing it. Just yesterday, I, yeah, I don't know, I got bored and it was on the table. And I'm going through the titles and what sounds really ridiculous, I just, you know, get into it, right? Yeah. And... And it's just ridiculous, like... like reading a bad book. What do you think? I'm not reading it. I, I just said it. Firstly, I read bad books. Secondly, I mean, like, I didn't read through red books. But, but read bad books. Uh, I'm not reading it. I open a chapter and I read a few lines, a page. All right. All right. I'm not reading this shit. Because I know how, it, how manipulative it is. The more you read of it, the more you believe it. So I make sure I just, just read, I don't know, a section at a time or something. Anyway, and uh, it just, you know, talks about, I don't even remember what it is. It, it just talks about something, and some, like half of it makes sense, the other one doesn't. But that's how you do it. Like you say something that makes sense, and you grab the person, and the rest doesn't matter. If it sounds good, then it's good enough. You know you can ridicule any book on Amazon with the reviews. Mm, really? Yeah. yeah you, can re you can find each or any book on Amazon and, and you can, well, anything that you know you have a strong opinion about, you can ridicule anything in reviews. And I'm sure you get some Amazon points and shit for it, parting a million yeah. reviews. So you have yeah, I thought so, but you don't. And you cannot have comments on it, so. Seen anything like this I don't people know. hear it. People hear you. Yeah. It's like you know, it's, it's it's closer to cool, like white writing a book kind of stuff. You know that people don't can't react to you. They can just read it. No, well, I don't know if they read it. I don't know if people read, like I don't get any feedback, even that, that people read it. Anyway, um... Well, it's like reading a book, you don't know that people read it. Yeah, if you sell a thousand copies, probably a thousand people read it. Whatever people, you know, people publish, people, you know, read, but, you know, they're gonna read it. The drone is up. Oh, yeah? If they sell it, they read it. Alright. At least. God yeah. God it's, it's annoying now to read the newspaper. Like, I, I can read an article and, and I want to comment. Like, sometimes I actually tap on it. And, and it's like, shit, I cannot comment on it. Speaking of which. Oh, which? Ha have you seen the. The last that clip? You know, he's always up for oh. the weird stuff. And. Like, you know, when you think that he cannot go further than the, than the holes or the Swiss Army man. Bloody hell. Have you seen the trailer? No. I'm gonna watch it. I'm so, gonna watch it in the area, even. Oh. Yeah, so it's a guy who gets uh, pistols attached to his hands. And it sounds like an idea for a stupid action movie. But... Like, Lenny Rapid goes for this small project, and, uh, I don't know, uh, it doesn't feel like a small project, but it's made by, I don't know, 20 small studios. When you see that uh, in the intro you have 20 studios, then that this is a small project, right? And uh, this, I don't know, the out of normal ones, and it, he really chooses the right ones. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so, it... I was surprised. I haven't. I like. I don't know. It's it's well done. It's like. I'm still shocked. It's so well done. Like we have this habit uh, with Krusty. If uh, we really get amazed by a movie, at the end we automatically clap. And we did. Yeah. Um. So man, fucking Harry Potter. Radcliffe, like, it's just, he doesn't seem to be making mistakes, acting-wise. I mean, he's a good manager. 
Guess so. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's in the in in the future. I don't want to spoil too much of it, but just uh, since it came up, it's in the future, and uh, I really like how they portrayed the nearby future of how crazy it's becoming because it's already almost there with the craziness of the world, and uh, and the whole thing starts with him commenting on stuff. But I, for a first second, I felt like I'm relating to it. But usually, I, I I share my opinion, and he was doing more like angry commenting. I don't know. Have a look. I don't know. I don't know what is Akimbo, Akim, Akimbo, Akim Crank, and some Black Mirror stuff. Very crankish. Um, and the camera, man, the camera, the camera is the best in the whole thing. The cameraman, so fucking, well, I don't know, who, who does it? I don't know, I, I just keep spoiling it, I, like, I didn't spoil much, but I don't want to. Uh, should we get out of this town? Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Ah. Ah. <laughs> What's this new game? What's it me? I don't know. The fuck? <laughs> it's a shitty car. Ah, it's a nice car. Yeah, it turns like five, five seconds delay. Yeah, I suppose it's quite to stay. <laughs> Well parked. <laughs> Opa. Nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, are you going to the family meal? <laughs> What's family meal? This is family meal. Uh, and then I mentioned something. But they pronounce it in India. Family Mala. Alright. Is Nera going? Uh, it depends on that. <laughs> well, uh, like you are only allowed to go if she's going. So yeah, it's quite dependent. Uh, and she wouldn't go without me, so... And unlike last year, well, or the year before for that reason, uh, I'm invited. Oh. But I don't want to go. Like, um. Like. Like, it's all, all craft is people.